for doing that, like beginning to read. Uh, auditory processing is very, very important. Uh, spelling, visual processing and auditory processing important. Um, doing word math problems, well I have to comprehend, uh, logic and reasoning is important. Uh, doing a jigsaw puzzle, visual processing is very important. I got a picture of how that thing would, would think. So all these different skills use different mental skills to different degrees. And to talk to you, do really good, and because I know what mental skills are required to do those different things, I can almost tell you, without even testing you, where he's strong and where he's weak. Okay? Now, there is a tendency in education to teach to a child's strength. In fact, that's a whole philosophy of education. A child has different learning styles. And those learning styles really are based upon what's strong and what's weak. And so the tendency is to teach to what he's strong in, use those skills, and that makes some sense. But doesn't it make some better sense to identify what's weak, make the weak strong so he can learn in any way and learn everything and not just be good at math, but also be good at reading? Okay.